Welcome back to Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. Spooky Damn. box! Damn, the box that, that kills people. Box. <gasps> oh, another girl. Welcome aboard, sirs. May I interest you in a refreshing beverage or a scrumptious snack? Thank you, but I don't think we need any snacks right now. Of course you don't. And I put on my best smile for nothing. I read that wrong. Since we got this ritzy dining car on board, most people get their chow there. With competition like that, it's hard to sell even a cup of tea. I'm so bored. I've got a while until my shift ends, so help me pass the time with this puzzle, would you? Okay. Oh, it's this one. I just kind of have to do this one. Now here's a tasty puzzle for you. Your task is to take that big stack of pancakes on the left plate and move them to the plate in the far right. In doing so, however, you need to follow these rules. You can move only one pancake at a time. A pancake can never rest on another pancake smaller than itself. Feel free to shift things around as much as you like and use the middle plate to, com to complete the puzzle. Here goes! Like towers of... something. There's a, there's a real-world toy that's like that, too, with just like a stack yeah. of rings. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, there's I, that's a pretty common puzzle type, actually. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Famous Tower of Hanoi puzzle. Yeah, a brain teaser invented by a French mathematician over a hundred years ago. I didn't know that. Tower of Hanoi. Yep. Whoa! Check out the brain on you, kiddo. There were literally only three pancakes. So listen, our next stop is in this dinky little two cow village called Dropstone, right? Okay. There's, like, nothing there. I'm sure I wish we could stop somewhere more exciting for a change. So I need you to mess with the brakes. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but I guess that's working a job for you. Sometimes you just have to deal with the crippling boredom. Go pull this lever up front for me. <laughs> See, the thing says emergency stop. Ooh, yank. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like there's no one here right now. Let's check back later. Ah, uh, I'm just about to kill over from boredom. Sure, the job pays well, but it's so slow. It's painful. It's so painful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, is this a bucket or a cauldron? That looks like a bucket. I'm just throwing that out there. Yes. I wonder if this is one of those brooms that can fly. Doubtful. Say, Professor, does that little shack over there seem familiar to you? Indeed. Unless I'm mistaken, this must be the residence of you-know-who. I have Granny a feeling Riddleton. she'll be a... Yeah. I'll, I'll pretend I remember that. I have a feeling she'll be a big help to us again. I don't know if that's supposed to be sarcastic or not. It's basically where your puzzles go if they become inaccessible in the plot. Oh, uh, okay. So you can't miss out on 100% completion. Not unless you count finding all the hint coins, but the game doesn't really track that the same way, so it doesn't matter. My, what a lovely deck. Wow, this is the best. The breeze feels great. Indeed, and the scenery is simply breathtaking. Look, Luke, you can see a lake over there. The sky is so blue, and just look at those trees fly by. Now that's what I call a view. It is quite amazing, Luke. Goodness, all this talk of pristine scenery reminded me of a puzzle I heard once. Why don't you try it? Okay, classic, classic. Should have seen that one coming. This reminds yeah. me of a puzzle. Mm -hmm. Forest below contains four <laughs> different types of trees. Use your stylus to draw dividers in the forest so that you can form four different sections. Each section should contain one of each type of tree. And all the trees must be connected either horizontally or vertically, but not diagonally. You have your answer touch submit. Ah, okay, so you need you need one of each type of tree in a section of... You need four sections. This seems like one you'll just have to do. I, I don't... It would take forever for me to be like, do this, I feel do like that. that one right there is already guaranteed to be like the way it has to be. Yeah. 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 Um, no. One, yeah, probably. two, three, four. Okay. So then you could just, yeah. Yep. Yep. 
That's pretty much yeah. what I did. That's, that's what I was thinking, too. Just yep. leave it to me. They were killing it. That's almost too easy. Hi, Millie. You want to solve some puzzles? You want to solve some puzzles? I didn't have you when we did the last game. Huh? I didn't have the Millie. Or Daisy. I didn't have either one of them. That's exactly it. Well done. Well, did you expect any less, Professor? <laughs> I feel so nice out here. I almost forgot we're supposed to be searching for the Elysian box. I can't say I blame you, Luke, but that box led the doctor to his death. Come what may, I will solve this mystery. Of course. I think we finally have a good grasp of this train's layout. I think it's yeah, high yeah. time we began a proper investigation. There's two ends, the front end and the back end, and everything else is in between. It's train. Okay, Professor, let's get to it. Professor and Luke decide to continue their investigation of the train. Okay. Hi, Mealy. But wait. It, it, Look at that. Someone's left rubbish on the deck here. Can you believe that? Some people have the worst manners. Listen here, Luke. A true gentleman cleans up after himself and others should the need arise. What do you say we take care of this mess? Oh, great. Another puzzle. Taking out the trash. Put that garbage into the trash can where it belongs. Using your stylus, move the blocks, obstructing the path, and slide into the slide the clump of garbage all the way into the can at the bottom of the screen. So I hadn't considered it before now, but this channel could be, in theory, separated into pre-me owning Millie days and post-me owning Millie days. <laughs> well, yeah. Like we're living in a post-Millie world. <laughs> right, Millie? She has no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> This isn't a post Millie world, though. This is a current Millie world. Yeah, but it's not a pre Millie world either. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I own the Millie now. Yep. Hmm. Honk, honk. Honk, honk, honk. Oh, I may actually. Like, there are, there are distinct LPs where I didn't own any, any pets, and there are now LPs where I own three pets. I have four pets. I have a lizard, too. Forgot about that. I own the melee. And I have Daisy. I don't know where she is right now. Oh, there she is. Both the dogs are in my... my, my, my <clears throat> sorry, my office. Quote, unquote. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Which is definitely not a closet that I've converted into a recording room. <laughs> I would never do that. I think I'm doing a lot of useless moves. I think the next time I have expendable income, I'm gonna buy like a shit ton of Lego sets. <laughs> Just go nuts on some Legos. Yeah. Yeah, I'm struggling with Restart? this one, so I'm going to look up a hint. Okay. Oh, actually. Stack the four blue blocks on top of each other with the first one at the bottom of the trash can. Next, find a way to get one of those four blocks into the little indentation in the upright corner. Once it's placed, you'll never have to move that block again. Feeling stumped, place the blue block in the upper, uppermost, lowermost, and rightmost areas of the puzzle. Then try moving the other blocks around the remaining space. For the record, since I usually bring it up whenever these come up, uh, I hate these kind of puzzles. It's the equivalent of those sliding, sliding. Move the blue block at the bottom of the trash can will be your second to last move. It's the equivalent of those like form a picture by sliding things puzzles.
all the kitties. There are a lot of cats. Mm. Mine was just in my lap, then she got up and left. I am. I'm, a... I'm surrounded on both sides by dog. <laughs> Echavilla just. The hints didn't even help me. <laughs> <laughs> How do we use our hit coins? Huh. I still consider us auto roll. Yeah. Ah, spick and span. If you really know how to work it, you can complete this puzzle in as few as 29 moves. And don't forget, the trash belongs in the trash can, not on the street. Right, Millie? There, now there's no trash cluttering up that amazing view. Wonderful, isn't it? Keeping a place neat really brightens it up. Maybe we should just stay out here. It's so nice. It must be lovely to sit out here with a cup of tea. Oop. My, this observation deck certainly does command an impressive view. All right. Oh, hello. Oh, my God. Uh, I feel like we should play. We should like draw straws for us to voice this fucking guy. Ah, there's nothing like travel by rail to put a spring in your step. I couldn't agree more. And there's no better way to do it than on a train as fine as yours, Mr. Beluga. Hmm? So you know my name, do you? But of course, the train and its owner have quite a reputation in London. I've seen your face in the papers more than a few times. Oh, is that so now? I'm sorry, uh, my friend, but I can't say I know you as well as you seem to know me. The name is Herschel Layton. I'm a professor of archaeology by trade, but a train enthusiast on the side. I've heard tales of this train's grandeur, so I decided it was time to experience it firsthand. Well, isn't that something? It certainly is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Layton, was it? Oh my, just look at how late it's gotten. I really have to run. Do enjoy your time aboard. He really hits you with the my my. I really don't want to be talking to you right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the my my. my. I, I know exactly who you are. Bye. <laughs> Why don't we head back to the dining car now, Luke? I've worked up quite an appetite. Giving you all those puzzles and whatnot. Yeah, handing off those puzzles sure seems like hard work. Hmm. Gosh, I'm just about to kill. Bye. Okay. Bye. We read that before. <laughs> honk honk. Welcome, sirs. My deepest apologies for the long wait. Let me show you to your seats. Then the lady comes back. All right, it's finally time to eat. My sentiments exactly. Wow, well, look at all these choices. It's enough to make my head spin. Oh, look over there. There's some sort of commotion going on. You call this hot cuisine? I call it slop. You're saying we actually serve this to our customers? Well, I'll remake it right away, sir. <laughs> Get that mess out of my sight this instant. Bye, Millie. But of course, uh, I'm very sorry to have displeased you so. And another thing. Look at these vases in that picture. Utterly tacky. Replace them immediately. But, but sir, this this is going to such a work by the world renowned. I don't care if the Queen of England painted it. Replace it and be quick about it. Yes, of course, sir. So I'm making the arrangements at once, sir. Hey, it's the same man we saw earlier. I don't think I've ever seen anyone so bossy. And loud. And that would be Mr. Beluga, I believe. It's too bad that picture wasn't to his taste. I think it's marvelous. Ah, and speaking of pictures, Luke, have I got a puzzle for you. But Professor, I just want to eat. <laughs> if oh, you no. don't solve the puzzle, you don't get to eat breakfast. The drawing below was made. <laughs> Up of curved slides that intersect great sections. If you want to color in the entire canvas so that no section touches the side of a section with the same color, what's the fewest number of colors you can use? You can use a color as many times as you want as long as it doesn't touch an area with the same color. Once you have the answer, tap the input answer icon to enter the number of colors. Oh boy, okay. 
I'll let you work that one out, but luckily I actually just, like, remember the answer. All right. Um... We have, okay, we have pink, yellow, green, and orange. Uh, I'm not a fan of this puzzle, actually, because it's weird to work out how it counts the perspective. Like, what counts as being next to each other in this case? Is uh, I'll just be real with you. It's probably going to take you way too long to figure this out if you just want to put the answer in. This, this is one that would take a while. <laughs> it's three? There's one pesky corner. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. I disagree. Yeah. <laughs> I do not agree with that because I inherently was thinking about this all wrong, apparently. Yeah, there's because I thought I didn't want anything to be next to each other because, like, uh, that, that, I, I imagine that. that that would be like, ugh. If nothing else, I consider the rower light right hand corner and the yellow right next to it to be touching. Yeah. And that's just that's just with a quick overview. Yeah, oh. yeah that's not without like no corners either. Like it, it ignores the corners. That's weird. I don't agree with that at all. Expertly solved, Luke. After a puzzle like that and a lovely meal, I could use a break. Let's head back to our room. I asked the voices in my head. But I don't ask. Sorry to interrupt your game, but there's something important you should know. As you progress through the story, some puzzles... I don't know if this is Granny Riddleton or what, but some puzzles will disappear from their original locations. These puzzles are then moved to Granny Riddleton's shack, where you can solve them when you want. Okay, then, here's the first set of puzzles to be sent to the shack. If no puzzles appear on the next screen, it means there are no unsolved puzzles to send right now. We missed one somehow. No! Oh. <laughs> well, then we better go back to that shack and go find yeah, that yeah, fucking I... puzzle. <laughs> Thank you for your patronage, sirs. I hope you could see into us to your liking. <laughs> oh, yes. Both the variety and execution were excellent. You are a sir. Professional service, uh, professional service such as myself live for words like those. Uh, 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 as a part of deserves, uh, as a part of d diverse menus, please you must enjoy this puzzle, sir. Ah, yes, of course. Puzzle. Luke's big dinner. Now, Luke, are you sure you can really eat all of that? You put in quite an order there. No sweat, Professor. I'll clean my plate and still have room for more. It's no wonder the Professor is concerned, as loose orders cost twice what the Professors did. Below, you can see all the items that Luke and Professor Layton ordered, as well as the price of each item. Touch the price for each of the items that are part of Luke's order. That feels... Alright, part of Luke's order? Let's see... Luke's order costs twice as much as the professor's. Yeah. Uh. Um. 12, 16, 25, 13. Consider this puzzle solved. Damn. Oh. oh. I was going on a uh, whim there. This one is quite formidable. I didn't even put any thought into it. I was just like, these seem like things that would be. I see. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, I hadn't considered that those are probably actual prices. I was just thinking of them as labels for some reason. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 Those are. Yeah. I don't remember. This doesn't seem no, because that definitely. Okay, let's see. What did? Hmm. Did he order all of this? Makes a lot more sense when I stop and look at it. <laughs> um, I don't feel like 
I don't feel like Leighton ordered all three of those things, but let's just assume he did for a second. Well, be, I mean, sure, you think drink, drink, you know, first yeah. course, second course. When I when I went off of my random guess, I was actually just thinking of that Leighton ordered the tea and the the salad. Yeah. But I was thinking about it in prospects of like, I, I kind of just ignored that this was a puzzle and was thinking about it in terms of like character. Yeah, and, like, like what the, the would Leighton order and what would Luke order? And, and the presentation of the puzzle was like, yeah, these characters did this thing. And I'm like, oh, OK, well, then we think about it like that. Which is obviously the wrong way to go about it, because this is a gameplay puzzle and not a not a story thing. It's somewhat, though, like though I remember the ones it does it does kind of line up like you could see them ordering that. I do remember Layton ordering a little bit light in comparison. Like he does order the tea and I think he orders either the salad or the sandwiches or maybe both. I don't know. I don't know what else he orders. This is not one I just completely remember inherently. I know Luke ordered both of these things. I was also thinking about it in terms of like, well, they ordered a meal. They probably ordered a drink plus food. Yeah. Which is why I said 12, 16, mm -hmm. 25, and 13, because it's like, that's a big order. And it has a drink. And that would be 53 already, which isn't divisible, so it would need another... Maybe the sandwiches. That would bring it up to... 66. 66. Yeah. Is there anything that 66. makes that? that Is there anything that would add up to 33? 30, 33. Um. That would be twice, twice as much. Seven. Um. I don't think so. I don't think anything Let's adds see. up to 33. Um, seven. Um, actually, um, let, let's see here. Fifteen. Um, seventeen, sixteen. Three, five. We've already used the sixteen, though. Ten, sixteen. No, that's not gonna work. Then, Okay. Oh, like yeah. everything? Hmm. Yeah, that that actually does make sense. So so you know what so you know, know, know what number Eight like plus yeah, yeah, that that actually does make the most sense. The total price uh 105? 105. Okay. Yep, 105. 105 and Luke's cost by the um, two is fifty-two dollars and fifty cents. His order has to be twice what Layton's is. Yeah, right. his order has to be twice what Layton's okay. is. I see. Um. So just starting with like, okay. So if we're starting like twenty-five is a quarter of what we have total almost it's a little a little under but just as a starting yeah. point so i feel like maybe say 105 should... divided by three and luke should be two of that so it would be 70 and Layton should be 35. yeah, yeah. well then that makes sense it so plus 13 plus so yeah, he ordered. Layton would have ordered the sandwiches, the salad, and the tea. Yep. Yeah. So Luke ordered everything else. And that does make sense. This puzzle solved. Actually, a good hint. We have it. Yeah. Bravo, game. A good hint. Calculate the total tab, blah, blah, blah. That's what we did. We, we talked through how we did this one. 
Oh, they had dialogue at the end of that. Fuck. Oh. Oh, well. Well. Goodness. You must possess quite the intellect to solve a puzzle like that so easily. <laughs> <laughs> so long as we on one puzzle. <laughs> now, as, as, as we ha have some uh, time into our next distraction, I invite everybody to sit back and enjoy the ride. And my voice is dance constantly tonight. <laughs> we're, 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 yeah. <laughs> Your voice has changed constantly, and this uh, LP is gonna kill mine. Can you imagine all the dishes they must have to do? I bet those veggies come straight from the farm. Mmm, fresh baked bread smells so good. I don't know what that line read was. I don't like that at all. Oh, that was bad, even for Mr. Beluga. You mean he always blows up at you like that? Well, you know, me or someone else in the staff. The boss can be real hard to please. That's awful! You guys shouldn't have to put up with him bullying you like that! Well, the boss does have a point. After all, he made this railway what it is. He always has, says that a first-class train deserves first-class atmosphere. Heck, even the plates we use in the dining car are special order. The workmanship is amazing! Check out the details on the back! It's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. <laughs> of course! The plate in front of you bears a mark made up of two nesting equilateral triangles. Can you puzzle out how many times bigger the large triangle is compared to the smaller one? No, fuck you. <laughs> That's what I say to you. <laughs> I'm not interested in this puzzle. I think it's just twice as big. Just eyeballing it. Just leave it to me. No. Oops, that wasn't. That sounds like some math shit. I don't do that. Right, Millie? We don't mess with that math stuff. Hmm. Not in this house. <laughs> I know you can make a Triforce out of it. <laughs> yeah. Da 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 da. <laughs> it that doesn't seem right to me. Like with the Triforce thing, you can literally fit four triangles into there, but how does that make it four times as big? <laughs> I uh, mm, I don't know. Maybe it'll explain. Like, if you literally blew it up to four times its size, I think it would be larger than that. That's right. If they had to flip the little triangle around to show, and it should only take a moment to realize that there are four of the smaller triangles will fit into a large, into the large one. Wait, how did it phrase the puzzle? Uh, it's four times as large. Or it was twice... Or how many... It asked you to figure... I don't remember how it phrased it exactly. Yeah. But how much bigger the... Can you puzzle out how many times bigger... How many times bigger the large triangle is? Yeah. It didn't say... It didn't ask how many you could fit into it. Yeah, see, the way it phrased it was like, oh, it wants me to do, like, geometry? Fuck that. <laughs> As opposed to stack four together and can you get, like, yeah, That's that. not the same question. <laughs> no, that's mm -hmm. not. No. Gosh, you've really got an eye for this kind of thing. What exactly do you think Mr. Beluga doesn't like about these plates? Hey, you got me there. I guess rich people are just fickle. He's pissed the puzzle is worded wrong. <laughs> Valid. Luke, let's stop by our room before we go anywhere else. Sounds good, Professor. Wait Should we stop by that puzzle room and do a puzzle? <laughs> now, what do we have here? My boy, my sweet little boy, you've got to do something right this instant! Search the entire train! Madam, please calm down so I can understand the situation. Like, what the hell's going on? Oh, Inspector Trellamy, I had no idea you were on board. Uh, if it isn't Mr. Lee, what are the chances, eh? <laughs> 
Well, enough small talk. I, I, uh, I have other matters to attend to. Namely, a missing boy. It seems this woman child has, has gotten off somewhere. I don't suppose you've seen him around. What is the What are the chances that this darling boy is just like a dog or a cat or something? That's what I was thinking. That, that, that's what I was thinking, too. No, I don't believe I've seen any young boys. My little boy wandered off and he hasn't returned yet. I'm simply at my wit's end worrying about him. And gentlemen, I demand that you drop whatever it is you're doing and help me find my boy. Isn't going on like this uh, for the moment I walked in? I understand your concern, madam. My friend and I will be glad to lend you a hand in your search. We'll have the best Speak chance of yourself. recovering your boy if we set out searching immediately. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. Now, go find my boy already. Tell him mommy's worried about him. Hmm. <laughs> Since you only closely have to go, go on uh, 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 the shoe, uh, uh, the shoe that Tyke left behind and his name Tom. I've tried to squeeze more details from the woman, but it's useless. Just, just, just keep demanding I search the entire train. This is one of Tom's shoes? It's positively tiny, isn't it? Yes, I find it quite curious myself, Luke. Alright, 300% a cat or something. But strange, I don't think most children with feet that size can even walk yet. Hmm. That's a dog shoe. While riding on the Mol uh, Voluntary Express, Babette's little boy, Tom, manages to disappear. If the shoe he left behind is any indication, Tom must be a very young child. Where could a child that small have wandered off to on his own? Babette. It was certainly a surprise to see you on board, Inspector. May I ask what brings you here? Uh... During the investigation, we, we stumbled upon the late doctor's diary. Yeah, it, it, it's made, it, it's made just details the doctor's final days, which led me to this train. But since the investigation is none of your business, that's all I can tell you, Mr. Layton. <laughs> Besides, right now, uh, finding that lost child is my top priority. However, since all I have to go, go go on is a shoe and the name, the search will be an uphill battle. Luke and I would be glad to offer our assistance in the matter. Oh, I'm sure you would. I've heard about you, Leighton. Had a weird delivery there, but but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. You've got got got, got quite the. Oh, I thought thought. Thought, thought, thought Chobley was being a sarcastic asshole because he's kind of like an idiot. <laughs> You've got, got quite, quite the re reputation for, for poking your, your nose in other people's business. Before, before I can let you <laughs> on, on, on my case, show me your famous powers of deduction by solving this puzzle. But enough talk, have at you. But enough talk, talk, have at you. Shoes have at you. you. A woman in the shoe store pays for a pair of $30 shoes with a $50 bill. The clerk doesn't have change, so he goes to the shop next door to break the $50 bill. Then he gives the woman her change. A while later, the clerk next door comes into the shoe store complaining that the bill she got from the store, the shoe clerk, was a counterfeit. The mortified shoe clerk gives the other shoekeeper a $50 bill of his own in apology. Both the woman with the fake bill and the shoes she took are gone. In total, how much did the shoe store clerk lose in dollars? 70 Oh, wait. Does it count how much the shoes are worth? Oh, uh, okay, here. Does that be a hundred dollars? Um, okay. He lost the cost of the shoes and fifty dollars from his own pocket, but the shoes are worth thirty, so eighty. He, he let's see, because he gave he gives the woman twenty dollars. Uh, uh, okay, well, okay, here, thirty here with a fifty. So we made thirty, gave twenty, and still to cloak with a counterfeit. Give the showkeeper 50 from his own. Both the, both the woman and the fake bill 
and the shoes which took are gone. Did you say 80? Because I feel like that was the right answer, but I don't know why it's the right answer. Um, I didn't say but I didn't 50 count. 50 from his pocket plus the 30 for the shoes. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, they're just not accounting for the 20 he gave her in that case, I guess. Yeah, because because he would have had to give 50 of his own Let's just say 80 because money. I feel like that was what the answer was according to the game. Consider this puzzle solved. No? Okay. No. Nope. Uh, uh, then... Well, 100? I suppose you can't win them all. Have you tried 70? Why would it be... No, not 70, um... Because thirty, the, it's a thirty thirty dollar pair of shoes yeah, that he lost, yeah. and he gave her twenty dollars, so that's fifty, and he had to pay her back the fifty because it was fake. So that's like a hundred in total if you count the merchandise value. And now I just can't remember if the game accounts for that. It doesn't. Okay. Ah uh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. What you said, seventy. Mm hmm. This should do the trick. That oh, was nope. the answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I this is. You can't win them all. Now I just don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I've like run the gamut on my ideas. I feel like this is a trick question. Because I, I, I mean. Maybe it's maybe it's fifty because he had to pay fifty. Okay, here. Let's stop here. Fifty of his own. Both the woman, the fake, and the shoes. So. Yeah, I would because like in total, how much did the shoe store clerk lose in dollars? Hundred thirty. Fifty. Just fifty. This should do the trick. Yeah. So that's we have just it. not because he had to pay fifty dollars. I guess yeah. In terms of what he lost in dollars, he only he only lost. <laughs> yeah, the shoes customer made off with cost thirty. The change the store clerk gave him cost twenty. Bring the shoes clerk total losses to fifty dollars. The shoe clerk received the fifty dollars in real money when he swapped the fake bill for change, but he had to return his same fifty dollars when the counterfeit bill was discovered. This means these two transactions effectively canceled each other out. That is one way to look at it, is all I'll say. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about that they one. Did, they did specify in dollars, so I can only be so upset. By him, however, still mildly annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So, is it, it seems your fame is an entire, entire, is it entirely undeserved. Your puzzle is bullshit, Spectre. Otherwise, the, 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 this, this is my case, so I'll be searching for Tom alone. Search on your own if you like, but don't uh, but don't get your hopes up. Yeah. If you find that missing boy, you be sure be sure to head head st st straight to my bed's room and and tell her she's in car six. Looks like no one's here right now. Uh, hello. Excuse me, madam. Have you seen a small boy wandering around here? He would be missing a shoe. Do you want to take some girl characters, Brute? I, I, I can do Carla here. Okay. <laughs> no, can't say that I have. I'd certainly remember if I'd seen a shoeless little boy. I see. Well, thank you very... Oh, but while we're on the topic of shoes, you can help... You can help... Maybe you can help out with a little predicament of my own. Puzzle. <laughs> that might be a puzzle. Here's a here's a maze that's made up of shoes. Your task is to travel from start to goal. You may only travel horizontally or vertically one space at a time, and you must alternate between left and right shoes every step. Also, I... you may not pass any of the walls in the maze. Tap each space one at a time to highlight the path you want to take. If you make a misstep, you can deselect that space by tapping it again. My solution is just to work backwards. Yeah. Uh, this this is one where it's kind of on you, so. <laughs> Hmm. 
Millie. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and now to test my theory. I recall that one being a lot more difficult if you Wonderful. try to work from the start. Mm. There's some pretty fancy footwork. Ha <laughs> 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 well, color me surprised. You've got quite the noodle under that hat, don't you? If you ask me, trains are the only way to travel. Airplane is just another word for sardine can. Ah, oh, you, Professor, the sugar is covered with ants. Oh dear, I'll have to remember to get sugar for my tea elsewhere. Curious though, isn't it? How did they get here? Perhaps this puzzle will shed some light on things. You fucking what, bro? <laughs> but, 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 can you explain your logic, Professor? Busy <laughs> ants were tirelessly carrying food back to their nest. One day, one such ant was returning the food when he bumped into an acquaintance in front of the nest. Whoa there, doofus, don't you know that you took the longest possible pa pa path possible back to the nest? Think about where you're going, man. Knowing that the ant never traveled the same area twice, can you trace the path he walked to get to his nest? Hmm. What if you take it all the way to the top and take that... Uh... I mean, you can do what you're doing, too. I was just looking. If you go all the way down and around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that seems probably correct. Yeah. Maybe. Ask it. Hmm, let's see if this works. Not quite. Well, I'm stumped. What a shot. Still might be correct to start by going up though. Oh. What if you take it to the one on the right? The further further across one. And loop it around then. Oh, but then how are you gonna get around? Never mind. Eh, sure. Tracing out a path back to the nest, leave as few roads untouched as possible. Thank you. That's so helpful. To the top of the screen to be north from the point labeled start. Draw your stylus south and then go west at your first chance. The next intersection, head north to the top of the map. When you reach a T intersection at the top of the map, head west again. When you hit a wall, take the road leading south. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay, so south, go west. west at your first chance. And the next intersection, head north. To the top of the map. Top of the map. Then go south. Yeah, then go over top the top of the map. Head west again. Head west. That seems correct. That does look great. Yeah. Just leave it to me. That was almost too easy. Perhaps a little heavy lifting kept this little ant from thinking about his path home. If only he thought about where he was going, he could have saved himself a lot of walking. You've got it, my boy. While I'm no fan of ants in my sugar, you have to admire their craftiness and work ethic. Maybe they're working so hard because even the sugar on the voluntary ex Wow, fuck me, I didn't even do the voice. <clears throat> Maybe they're working so hard because even the sugar on the voluntary express is extra fancy? <laughs> Perhaps. I must admit, it is a compelling motive. No. No doubt about it, the Molentary Express is the last word in luxury. Even the crystal is first rate. Oh, say, look at this glass! Yes, its etching is quite impressive. Oh, and speaking of glasses, have you heard this one, Luke? <laughs> Where do you come up with this shit? <laughs> oh, the this owner one's of easy. A fort, 
The owner of a four-star restaurant assigns a young waiter the task of stacking glasses in a decorative way. You can please the young waiter immediately draws five separate designs and shows them to the owner. The owner takes one glance at the designs and with a ir look of irritation turns to the boy and cries, This design is preposterous! What were you thinking? Which of the five designs is the owner talking about? I don't know. What the fuck? I mean, a number of them are kind of ridiculous, but uh, there's one in particular that's physically impossible. Well, like, you can't even begin to make it happen. The only one I'm suspect about is D. Yes. Yeah, D just isn't Get going us. to work. Yeah. That was almost too easy. The restaurant owner was talking about Sketch D. If you look closely, you can see that the first and second row of glasses couldn't possibly be arranged in the manner depicted. The simple 2D sketch w w didn't take into account the rim of the glasses. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no way that would have worked. Nicely done, Luke. Now let's move away from the glass, shall we? It'd be all too easy to break it. Oh, what's this? Something's falling behind those boxes. It's a puzzle. Evidence, Uwu? It's a hat, Uwu. It appears to be a cap of some sort, but I don't think I can reach it from here. Maybe the cap belongs to Tom? We certainly shouldn't rule out the possibility. Oh, hey, since we're on the subject of caps, have you ever heard this one, Professor? I can do it, too. Ha-ha. <laughs> 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 ha Preschool teacher had everyone in her class close their eyes. While none of the students were looking, she slipped caps onto their heads and then said, Okay, everyone, open your eyes and look at all the hats. Look at the hats all your friends are wearing. Whoever sees four or more people wearing red hats gets a red balloon, and whoever doesn't gets a blue balloon. In a class of ten children, only some of the kids got a red balloon. Knowing this, how many kids went home with a red balloon? Okay, um... Okay. Whoever sees four or more people wearing red hats. So there can only be, th uh... There can only be four hats. And... Right? Because... Yeah. Because if it was five, everyone would see... Uh, if there were five red yeah. hats, everyone would see four hats. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. So... Mm, I feel like I'm missing something, though. Okay, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, go on. No, How many went home with red balloons? Hats. No balloons. Uh -huh. Is some red balloons? Uh, so I, I guess it's six people went home with a red balloon. It's one of those ones where I feel like I'm not thinking it, uh, not thinking it enough because it likes to throw these like to test my theory. Yeah, it likes to throw all these trick trick puzzles at you. Mm. The the game just tracks our logic here. I don't think I need to repeat that. Yeah. Rats, I was sure I could stomp you with that one. Better Basic luck math. next time, Luke. For now, we'd better return to searching for that lost little boy. Oh, right. Yep, better get back to that. Now that you mention it, how do you suppose Tom managed to worm his way into such a little space? Hmm. Good question. The boss could really bust my chops sometimes, but at the end of the day, I don't mind the job much. Oh, take a look at this, Professor. It's... Food scraps, if I'm not mistaken. Do you suppose Tom wandered into the kitchen to grab something to eat? Well, it is possible, though if that's the case, the child certainly is lacking in the manners department. I'm not surprised. <laughs> How can she sleep at a time like this? It's just her cat, chill. I imagine she tired herself out, out fretting over her child's disappearance. 
Come, Luke. The sooner we find the, uh, the lad, the sooner we can put the poor lady at ease. And, and, and granted, brute, yes, if your cat went out, you'd be freaking out. I would too if my cat did. I also didn't bring my cat on a train. So... I bet this wine costs an arm and a leg. Gosh, this dress is big enough to be a bedspread. Speaking of cats, here's wow, the Well, that flower vase looks like it cost a chunk of change. It's true, but lovely decorations really do wonders for a room. That's doubly true for flowers. Tell me, Luke, what do you think of flowers like these? Another one? <laughs> Crazy days. Another. Now for something on the flowery side. Of the three pictures labeled A, B, and C, one is actually the same as the picture on the far left. You alright? Girls. Puppy? You guys hear that? Yeah. 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 What happened? What happened, Millie? What happened, Millie? You alright? Alright. However, the image on the far left has had its contents flipped left to right and its colors inverted and changed to black and white. Of A, B, and C, which picture is the same as the black and white picture on the far left? C. No. No? No, look at the dots. The dots on, on, on the far left are, like, small, and the one, C has the, uh, the larger dots. The, the um. colors... The colors are inverted to black and white, but the actual images weren't, like, changed or them being flipped and... and Desaturated. Um, it's A. Here goes. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. Yeah, after comparing that part, you had to look for the extra dot. I looked. I looked at the dot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, B had. Uh, yeah. He had like extra dots and nice stuff. job. Not all puzzles will be such a breeze, but let's keep moving for now. You're right, Millie. What happened? What happened? Babette doesn't seem the, the type like the type to travel light. You're right, Millie. Come here. Come here. Oh, poor baby. What happened? Oh. Oh. Is everything all right, miss? I'm just fine. Thank you. Excuse me. Is that Tom? Say, does that lady seem kind of familiar to you? Hmm, yes. Now that you mention it, something about her did seem rather familiar. Welcome aboard, sirs. May I interest you in a refreshing beverage or a scrumptious snack? Sorry, miss, but right now we are busy searching for a small child. Have you seen a young boy wandering by himself around here? Little boy, huh? Nope, sorry, mister, but that doesn't ring any bells. Oh, oh, what happened? Did he get lost on the train? Yes, unfortunately, we haven't been able to track down the missing tot. You know, I probably shouldn't spread rumors, but hey, I've got nothing else to do. Did you know that there's a weird old lady staying in this car? What if she kidnapped the little one and has him stowed away in her room? I know it's probably not true, but what if? She's just so bizarro, I can't help but thinking that. But I can get in trouble for spreading rumors about patrons, so forget I said anything, okay? A strange older lady, huh? I wonder if we've seen her around. Your guess is as good as mine, Luke, but it certainly does make one wonder. I have no idea who read her before. Uh, I could just do it. Oh, go for it. Hello there, sunny boys. Ever get all knock-kneed and goosebumpy from a terrifyingly hard puzzle? Well, have no fear. The beautiful and clairvoyant Granny Riddleton stands before you, ready to help. I should have known. Who else could have this tiny house belonged to? Hey, wait a second. What are you doing here, anyway? So you've heard of me, eh, shorty? Good to know. I'm still a hit with the youngins. <laughs> what do you mean? Of course I've heard of you. We've met before, remember? Hmm, nope. I suspect you've got the wrong granny, boy. Never seen you before. We're clones, you know. But you're here now, so that means you want to hear my spiel, right? Er, uh, not really. 
Well, okay then. <laughs> well, like, with uh, everyone being close, I mean, considering how the way the story from the first one is, it might be. I mean... A, plate, a strip of paper. After trying to fold the strip of paper in half, you notice that one side of the folded strip is one inch longer than the other. Determined to get it right, you fold the strip again, only to discover that now the other end of the folded strip is an inch longer than the other. Now that you've made two folds along the strip, figure out what the distance is between the two folds is when expressed in tenths of an inch. I think it's five. Uh, sure. Half You're an fucking inch. think I'm actually going to answer that? <laughs> this should be the trick. Oh, I didn't remember that correctly. Well... I suppose that's one possibility of I consider where the first fold along the paper must be positioned. Maybe it's a full inch. I don't remember how... It's not like I was thinking about the math of it, I was just kind of going from, like, vague memory. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle... That's probably something I should just know by simple logic, but whatever. <laughs> the distance between the folds is one inch, or... 10 tenths of an inch. If you're having trouble visualizing this, picture that the matchbox shown above has a height of one inch. Imagine that the areas where one side of the fold connects to the top and bottom of the folds are in the strip, and you can see how the excess length of both folds can be represented by the other side. Okay. And our reward is nothing! Wait. Nothing! Are you okay, Millie? What happened? Holy shit, this dude. Do I look His like hair. I know what a JPEG is? <laughs> oh, oh, passenger. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean to get in the way of you using the deck. You're not a passenger, too? Nah. I'm just, just a mechanic on the train. I ride a lot. I ride a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot with her in case something goes funny. But as you might, but as you might, might figure, she's as smooth as butter. Makes my job pretty easy. In fact, I got so much free time that I started making the puzzles. Or take one for a test drive. Get her done. Get her done. Uh, after years of bad oh. business, a local zoo <laughs> a local zoo is finally run out of money to feed its animals. Belly's rumbling from days with no food. The animals make a plan to escape the zoo. They're prying open the bars on the rusted cages. All the animals attempt to find their way through the maze-like walls of the zoo to the exit. Tap the picture of each animal you think made safely out of the zoo and then tap to submit the answer. Uh, just remember, an animal shows its true colors in the wild. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. Oh, I mean... I think... I, I, I found the one that can make it to the exit, and I think the other ones were all, like, dead ends. Okay. Hi, Millie. And now to test my theory. Huh. Wonderful. The only animal that will safely escape the freedom is the lion. While both the rabbit and the lion will make it as far as the path to the exit, the second the lion spots the rabbit, he's guaranteed to eat it. Nom. 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 Listen, I, I, I get it. I'm just saying this is lacking the logistics of animals. <laughs> like, that rabbit's fast as shit. <laughs> yeah, like, realistically, I think that... Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's the big idea? <laughs> Don't you know it's all hard to pass time with puzzles when you solve them that fast? You don't suppose anything on the train's gonna break, do you? I'm dying for something to do. Scenery, something, 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 somethings. The scenery flies by so fast, my eyes can hardly follow it. It's like the text. When I click too soon. <laughs> uh. 
I might have forgotten what... Hmm. <laughs> I've already been in the kitchen. Yeah, the found that, um, ass, so... Maybe I just need to go right back to their room. No? Hmm. Oh man, am I dog food? Oh shit. What's the matter, mister? Well, oh hey. Okay, so I snuck into my uncle's room and borrowed his camera, right? The thing is, then I dropped it. I've been here trying to find all the pieces for like an hour, but I've only found one. That's quite a predicament. Yeah, and if word gets out about this wreck camera, I'm gonna get major flack from the boss man. Whoa, brain flash incoming! Dig this, I'm gonna give you this busted hunk of junk. You do with it what you want, just get rid of the thing, will ya? Okay, catch you on the flip side. What? Hey, come back here. The camera mini game has been added to the trunk. Uh, you know, squares part. Hell yeah. We can assemble that later. Uh, yeah, it seems like uh, a lot less, a lot less cool than putting a hamster back in shape. Well, I guess this video has been going on long enough. Long enough. We should probably just stop for now. Okay. And okay. we can track down that girl and uh, the precious boy later. The the precious little boy, yes. Precious little boy. Precious. Bye. Sounds good to me. Bye. Bye. Bye.